Hi everyone, Gasp here for another Stardust tutorial and recently Superlumino released a new Stardust version uh, it's the version uh, 1.2 and they added an awesome feature that is the physics simulation now you have like way more possibilities to make particles and uh, 3D models and collide each other and interactive with all the particles we are going to to create a quick demo using this new amazing feature so here we go first i'm going to prepare the the whole scene uh, so uh, at the emitter i'm going to change to grid let's increase the number of particles and also their speed going good uh, we can uh, for this as example I'm going just use like a flat uh, 2d so I'm not going to, to have any like Z depth so let's get just one just to increase the speed and also uh, set up the particle to be 10 seconds it's number of my the length of my composition uh, and also let's put the orange a little bit higher here uh, I'm going to prepare like a collider object here as a logo so uh, we can copy all the paths to a new solid just control C or command C Let's create a new solid logo mask. And just paste it. So now we can use the path to extrude and create a a model. So we can add the model node. Let's rename it. And also set the model source to text mask and select the extrude layer so logo mask and okay uh, it's like the first step to my scene uh, now how we can uh, set this all the, the things dynamic so we have two more nodes here one is the physical so you can apply the dynamics attribute to to your objects and physical forces uh, we have to set up two nodes here uh, one for each other because uh, the logo is going to be static so uh, at the physical node we have uh, two kinds of uh, physical objects the dynamic and the kinematic the kinematic uh, it's going to to be like a collider object so uh, it's not going to fall with with the gravity and the dynamic is just like a rigid object and they can uh, collide and inter interact with the other objects in the scene so uh, first we are going to set the physical properties of the particles so we can set to dynamic uh, simulate using a sphere because it's a sphere obvious uh, and uh, we can set to collide with all the objects so the particles are going to react with each other uh, or we can set just to to collide with the kinematic objects and here we have all the properties of the object so if you are used to the dynamic uh, any dynamic uh, module in cinema 4d or Maya or any uh, 3d to, to set it's very very simple to set all the results uh, for this example I'm going to set the friction to zero okay 
and the axis as I'm going to make like a just in a 2D uh, space I'm going to set the axis to X and Y and for the logo also I'm going to to link here and set the type to the logo instead of dynamic to kinematic okay and I'm going instead of sphere I'm going to use the uh, model because we have uh, gaps so we can uh, set the the collider object not as in a sphere or a, uh, or a box we can also uh, make uh, pass the all the particles pass through these gaps so and if I press play oh yeah it's going good but nothing it's happening why because we have to change the physics properties here at the the first uh, panel here so uh, we have to turn on the simulation uh, as we are setting the dynamics uh, Stardust is going to create the uh, cache file with all the simulation and we can also set the gravity and also a threshold like a margin for the objects and also set the simulation quality as you want uh, so let's just turn on and now it's colliding so uh, now we can uh, maybe uh, put some like walls here so uh, I already prepared uh, it's a simple solid with just a mask so at the same way let's add the model let's rename it, it to ball uh, and set to the same physical properties to the of the collider objects and now we can choose text mask and also put the walls now you can see it's colliding with the walls and one interesting uh, thing uh, we can create here ins uh, inside of model properties we can create a new to control my my model so let's put this maybe a little bit the bottom here uh, to increase all the like the workflow is better to maybe just turn off the simulation and now I it's better to control it maybe if we set the the wall here let's change the size let's set center and also maybe change the size here maybe a little bit more uh, set the bevel to zero and also extrude depth as we are just going one in two axes here so yeah that's it and also we can set uh, let's customize the the visual here and it's not not a good visual so maybe if we put the or orange a little bit at the top and also change some particle settings maybe we can change the color put in a cool gradient let's try this one maybe tweak a little bit the colors here anyway it's up to you and don't forget to 
turn on the simulation uh, well maybe we can also randomize a little bit the, the size maybe 13 or maybe 75 here the opacity uh, and you see it's you can see in real time that it's uh, changing and uh, maybe uh, if you if it's very slow to your to your system uh, try to uh, disable the auto cache and just do one cache at a time and we are uh, I'm seeing some uh, intersections here uh, maybe if we can change the the samples here or just to offset maybe let's put 60 uh, and maybe we can add the physical here we can just randomize a little bit uh, or change the maybe the size or or uh, maybe set a higher margin but uh, try to avoid changing uh, this value but anyway uh, we can set a background in the same color of the logo and after a few more steps we can get a nice result and this was just a quick uh, overview about uh, this new feature hope you like it and if you create something really good with Stardust let me know thank you so much see you next time